first of all, I mean, Robbie was a special person. Uh, by him, the background of him by attending Camelsville, had roots here, had roots here, played sports for Camelsville. And, uh, you know, as small as this uh, city is, people remember that. And then by him coming back and being a referee and hosting and being a part of the fifth region officials and being able to see him, um, you know, that he meant a lot to, meant a lot to everyone. And just by seeing him on and off the court, Robbie did a lot of good things. Robbie knew the game of football. Uh, and, and not only that, he was a positive role model. He was an African-American young man that, that, that was my right-hand man uh, when I was uh, head football coach here. Uh, it meant a lot to the program. He was always willing to help with whatever. The kids loved him. Uh, and and uh, he loved the kids. Robbie and Bobby were synonymous with the Eagle football and baseball. And I would just turn and look at Coach Durham and say, Coach, and he would come over with his whistle, and his famous saying was, get him chopping. And, and all the kids still talk about that. Spoke with him, when you talk with him, you have a smile on his face and always have a joke for you. you know, I, I will always cherish those memories and those times we had together. You know, we had some big wins. We went through some difficult losses together. Uh, and, you know, Coach Durham was right there with me through it all. So They probably don't even realize today how much he's rubbed off on them and how his positive attitude will stick with them for the rest of their lives.